Hey Tinkers, my name is Natalia and last week I asked you what you want to see next and you all voted another card. So today I'm going to show you this card that lights up when you press the special little star. It is simple enough to create and I actually made another one with a more Harry Potter theme and you can click here on the card above to see that. But this is a great get well card or if you have a friend that needs cheering up, give them this card. Now decide what I should be making for next week by voting in the card above and let's just begin. Here's what you need to create this card. Now take the front piece and then start drawing a cloud. And then cut it out. Then draw a giant star underneath the cloud. And then cut it out. Then take the back piece and then fold it in half. Then place the front piece on top of the back piece. And then start sketching around the cloud that you just cut out. Then place it on the opposite side and then draw another cloud. And don't forget to sketch the star on the back piece as well, so you know where the button is. And speaking of button, take your battery and then fold some paper around it. And then cut this little piece off. Then put some glue on the star you made on the back piece. And then place the piece of paper you just cut right on top of it. And this will be the button. Now make markings inside the cloud of where you want your lights to be. Now it's time to create the circuit and we need to create two lines, one that's positive and then one that's negative. So place the copper tape right at the first marking you made and it's very very important that the tape you're using is one piece otherwise this circuit just won't work. Now while you're creating the circuit make sure to rub all of the creases and folds down with your nail. When you've reached the button cut the excess off. Then add another line that runs parallel to the first one you made. And these two lines should never touch, otherwise this circuit won't work. Now when you're making these turns with a copper tape, try to make as few tears as possible, otherwise this won't work. Now when you've reached the button, you need to go over it and then inside of it. And then cut the excess off. And again, smoothen out everything with your nail to make the circuit more efficient. On your lights, there's a positive and a negative sign, just like with your battery. So the negative side is facing downwards and the positive side is facing upwards. So make markings on the circuit according to that. So place your lights on the circuit so the negative and the positive sides are facing the same way. Add the rest of your lights now when the circuit is working, we need to decorate the card. So take some black construction paper and then measure out how much you need for the front piece. And also sketch the cloud right onto it. Then use a needle to poke a lot of holes in the cloud. And this is of course so the light will shine through. Then cut the excess part off. Then put some glue all around the image of the cloud and then attach it onto the front piece and press down to make it stick properly. Now it's time to decorate the card completely. And the look of this card really depends on what you like. Now we need to create some borders around the battery so it doesn't slide around. So take some double-sided foam tape and then place it around the battery. And the borders around the battery needs to be as tall as the battery itself. Now you also need to create a border around the circuit you created to attach the front piece. And this border needs to be just as tall as the one you made for the button. So attach the foam stickers all around the edges of the card. If you're wondering if the foam stickers will affect the circuit, it doesn't. When all of the borders are equal in height, you need to remove all of the protective papers and then attach the front piece. Then press down to make it stick properly and then test it out. I hope you enjoyed watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. And don't forget to hit the bell button below so you don't miss out on any future videos. And be sure to check out these DIYs here to get some more inspiration. And I will see you soon with more ideas. Bye!